everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely classic men's crochet scarf. It's a beginner friendly pattern and it's made using a two row repeat so very simple. Some of the things that you're going to need to make this pattern is you're going to need two balls of Lion Brand Hue Plus Me yarn. It's a number five bulky weight yarn and I'm using it in the color juniper but they have I believe 18 colors total so there's a lot to choose from. This is a free pattern and so you can find the directions for this pattern on my blog. There will be a link in the description box um, to the pattern. So just open up that box and I'll bring you right to the free pattern. You're also going to need a 10.0 millimeter hook. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to start off with our scarf pattern, we want to go ahead and create a slip knot and chain 20. Okay, and so to make a slip knot, you just want to wrap it around twice over your finger, then pull this loop over and then pull the other loop over your whole finger like that and then just pull and you should have a slip knot okay then insert your hook into the loop and chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so once you have 20 chains, it should look like this. Okay, and we want a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. You should have two loops on your hook. And then yarn over one more time and pull through the last two loops. And that's how you make a single crochet. Now we want to chain one and single crochet in the next chain. Okay, so we're going to skip this chain. So chain one, skip this chain, and single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so it should look like this. Now that's going to be our pattern till the end of the row. So you want to chain one, skip the next chain, and make a single crochet in the following chain. Okay, so chain one, skip the next chain and single crochet in the following chain. Continue to do this till the end of the row, okay? And then you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so I just finished my row one and you should have had one single crochet in that last stitch of row one. Okay, so now let's start row two. So you want to chain one, you're gonna turn your work, and you're gonna make one single crochet in that first stitch from the previous row. Okay, so that's gonna be right here. Okay, so insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over one more time for that single crochet. And then you wanna make one more single crochet in that chain space right next to the single crochet you just made. So insert your hook in that chain space, yarn over and then pull through to make the other single crochet. Okay, and so now this is where our repeat starts for row two. So you're going to chain one, you're gonna skip the next single crochet and make a single crochet in the chain space. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, so you're gonna chain one, skip the next single crochet and make a single crochet in the chain space. Okay, and so continue to do this till the end of the row. All right, you should finish off with one single crochet in the last stitch. All right, so go ahead and do that and then I will meet you back here. Okay, so I'm almost here at the end of my row three and you should have two stitches left. Okay, so now we need to make a chain one. You're gonna skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so go ahead and insert your hook and then make one more single crochet. And that completes row three, okay? So, so far your scarf should look like this. Okay, and so the pattern becomes very easy after this because all you want to do is alternate between rows 2 and 3 until row 133 or until 69 inches total. 
Okay, so your next row will be row two, then row three, row two, row three. All right, so you wanna to continue to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and then I will meet you right back here. All right, so I just finished all my rows and so you should have something that looks like this now. After you've completed all your rows, all you wanna do is just tie a knot, cut the yarn and work in the ends. And just make sure that when you work in the ends that you work them in on the side or within the rows so it blends in really well. And then yeah, and then you're completely finished with your scarf. I really hope you enjoyed this pattern. I hope it was really helpful with the written pattern. Okay, and so if you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.